The Sonic Hacking Contest 2015 is underway, and we're going to take a look at three choice cuts from this year's event. We start things off with a good old-fashioned troll hack. Get used to these everyone, because you're going to see them a lot. This little number is called an appealing hack, and it's an absolute chore to play. On purpose, you understand. The gimmick with this is that Sonic cannot move unless you launch him from a super peel-out. The game makes this a little bit more bearable by allowing you to jump in a peel-out, which at least allows you to gain some elevation before you launch yourself into your inevitable doom, but while this game offers some initially silly fun, it soon grows old and rather infuriating very quickly. You've got to have some serious patience to master this game, and as you can see here, I am incredibly lacking in that department. Next up we have Biggs Fishing Derby, which believe it or not is a 2D version of Biggs Fishing Stages from Sonic Adventure. To beat the stages you must lower your lure into the water and catch Froggy. This is made more difficult by the swarm of badniks that obstruct your path. The trick with this is to catch a few badniks first, some will wield power-ups, and then go for Froggy. My technique consisted of grabbing the two badniks at the very top, then going for Froggy which seemed to work pretty well. The things that really struck me with this hack is it actually makes a pretty decent effort in making big stages fun. It also looks and sounds great with some wonderful 16-bit renditions of stage themes from non-16-bit Sonic games, and it just goes to show how versatile the original Sonic engine can be in the right hands. This is quite an impressive little game even if it does get a bit old once you get the hang of it. Finally we're looking at Bunny Rabbot in Sonic the Hedgehog. This is a simple character hack that puts you in control of Satayam's Bunny Rabbot. The big differences in gameplay are that Bunny can't curl up into a ball, which means you have to attack with your cybernetic arm. Bunny also has an additional hover ability that can help get you out of scrapes. This actually feels pretty good to play, and I was really enjoying the change of action, but the game unfortunately suffered a game-breaking glitch. If this can be fixed, I would highly recommend Bunny Rabbit on Sonic 1, as the simple change in abilities actually makes this quite an interesting experience. 